Okay, so I've got to kind of film this video a little fast because it's the only time I have, like, quiet up here. <laughs> um, so today was Boxing Day, and I didn't really have anything on my list to get other than, like, yarn and yarn and more yarn. <laughs> um, so I went to Lens Mill uh, here in Canada. I don't know if you guys have it in the States or not. Um, but these, the things, okay, I'll just show you. These were originally $5.99, and they were marked down to, like, $3.99 a bag. So, look at, you get, like, these are, like, whole, whole skeins in here. And that's, like, three ninety, like, four bucks for this whole bag. So, I got this color. I don't know if you can, like, if it picks up very well on this. Uh, I'm, ju I'm just using my phone to film. This is, like, a burgundy, kind of maroony red. Sorry for the glare. Um, so I got that one. I got like a green color. Bright green. Well, it's not that bright. It's showing up more bright on camera, but green. This has like two big skeins and a little bit. These are, I guess these are mill ends. They're super pound value pack. Um, what is it? I don't know. They're from Cambridge. Fiber Limited, I think. Is that what it is? I don't know. Okay, so I got the green, the burgundy, this, oh, everything's falling, <laughs> this really pretty, like, deep blue color. Oh, you can feel how soft it is. Well, you can. I'm sorry. I wish that you had, like, something here on YouTube where you could feel how soft they are, but this is, like, a deep blue color. I wish you could see it better. I should have filmed this in the daytime. That would have been easier. And then I was so excited when I, when I saw these. They were originally $5.99 too. This, just this color is like amazing. It's like a minty green. It's so nice. It's like my favorite color. So I got this one, this one, and this one. Like four bucks a bag. And I'm happy about that. So those are all the bags I got. I originally went to Lens Mill because I wanted to get these. I don't know if you're familiar or if you've seen these. Marble. Marble Chunky. Uh, this is a 200 gram ball. This one's just like a, I don't know what you, like cream and gray and if that's even picking up on the camera. Um, and it's 100% acrylic. It's so nice. I've been eyeing these like every time I go there I want to get one but I think they were on sale today. I don't know where my receipt is but I think that's what, okay I got this one. I'm trying to talk fast because before anybody else comes up here. This really super pretty purple one. So these are the two marble chunky balls that I have that I got today. <laughs> that sounds weird. Uh, I really like this one. There were so many colors it was really hard to pick. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with those. And after Lens Mill, I went to, where did I go? Michael's because I have two aspiring, well maybe more, aspiring crochet students. They want me to teach them, so I don't know how that's gonna go, but I just picked up some, just some like cotton yarn, maybe to teach them like a simple dishcloth or something to start with. I got the Bernat Handicrafter, and this one is like cotton stripes, and I got two of these, two of this color. The same Bernat Handicrafter in this color, like purpley blue and white, and a little bit of green in there. And this really like lime, limey green color. I don't know what you would call it. Oh, it's called a hot green. Maybe these have names on them. This one is called Country. The bluey one. This one is called. Oh, Violet. So, those are those. <laughs> and I got a blue one too. What's this one called? Robin's Egg. Very pretty, light blue. Burnett Handicrafter. So those will make some nice dishcloths maybe. I know I've heard before people said to like set them with uh, vinegar or something. Maybe so the colors don't run. I should probably look into that. Um, and then... I got more of these because I actually tried these before. I'm working on a hat. See you. I'll sh show you. 
I'm working on this hat. Oh, I think my hook came out of the spot. There we go. Just a simple, like, ribbed pattern. It's really soft and really stretchy, so it basically will fit, like, no matter... Well, I was going to say no matter what, but you kind of have to... It's just, like, it's going to be a, a ribbed hat like that. You just fold this part up. I, I think it's just really easy, this style. I have one. I made a pink one before. This one has a big pom-pom on it. Super chunky and soft. Yeah. So, I got more of this yarn because I really like working with it. It's called... Might be helpful if I tell you what it's called. Viola... Oh. Loops and Threads Viola. It's just from Michaels. Um, this is... Is that the name of it? Oh, I guess that's the name of it. That's the name of the color. Uh, this one's Viola. I got two of these. You can see. This video is going to be like all over the place. <laughs> um, and two of these color. The same kind of yarn. Like brownie and blue and a little bit of... I don't know, but it just looks pretty. And it's soft, so I had to get it. And this one, I got two of these. Um, what was that? This is Coral Reef. I don't know if I said that. Oh, this is Coral Reef, too. What the heck? I don't know if this is, like, different. They look the same. Oh, well. This is just a, like, black, brown, and reddy, kind of yellowy. I don't know if it's even showing up very well two of these these are i should tell you what they are uh oh it's 100 percent polyester i don't know i like working with it i i'm making a hat right now well i just started oh i got these uh bernat handicrafter too the cotton um three of these like super rainbow colors it's really pretty like washcloths or something dishcloths i mean um, and then I saw these, like, I mean, I see these every time I go to Michael's, the wool, like, chunky yarn. I got two of these white ones, and I see them whenever I go there, and I never really thought anything of them, but this time they had, like, a, a little swatch made up. I think it was knit, but, like, I, I crochet, but it was, uh, it was really, really soft, and that's, like, I, I feel, like, when I shop for yarn, I feel it, just because that's... Uh, that's what I like to do and I felt this and it's not that soft like you you would think That's why I always kind of pass it up I mean, I never got it before so but when I felt that swatch that was there in the store um, It was really soft. So I thought I would try it maybe like a Hat or something. I forgot about this one. Where did I get this? I got this from Michaels Just the pound of love um, Lion brand for making certain items. This is gonna go with uh, another big ball like this of green that I have. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Oh, I think somebody's coming upstairs now. Gotta go. Okay, that's all for my Boxing Day yarn haul. Thanks for watching. If you like this, if you wanna see like more of the projects that I make or whatever, um, just let me know in the comments, I guess, and I'll try to maybe get on here again and make a video of my work in progresses or projects, if that's interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!